So a function from the uh, direct product of z cross z. Here z is the integers into z. Given by f of mn equals 2m minus n. And we're asked to prove uh, it is onto. So proof. So before we do the proof, let me re recall what it means for a function to be onto. So f from capital X to capital Y is called onto or surjective if for all y, for all little y, this means for all, in capital Y, this is called the codomain, right? This is the codomain. There exists some x in capital X, this is called the domain, so domain, such that f takes little x and sends it to y. So graphically what this means is here's here's capital X and here's capital Y. So given any little y here, any one I want, uh, I can find some little x which f sends uh, to little y. All right, so to do this proof, we have to start by taking a little y and z. So take y in z, so any y. So I could say take any y, any integer y and z. And we have to now come up um, with a pair, right, because the elements in the domain are pairs that get sent to y. So if we go to the side, we can work it out carefully. Let's see, we want a pair, mn, that's going to take us to y. Well, what is f of mn? It's 2m minus n, and that has to take us to y. All right, we want to get y. Well, we can pick m and n, right? These, these are integers. So let's pick m equals 0, and then we can pick n equals negative y. And what's that going to do for us? It's going to give us 0 minus negative y, right? And which will be y. So we can check if you have 2m minus n, and we're taking m equals 0, n equals negative y, we get 2 times 0 minus, yep, looks like it works. So that's going to be our choice for our pair. So then, 0, negative y, th this is an ordered pair, and both components are integers, so this is certainly in the direct product. So this is the x in the definition, right? This is, this is the x. And now we just have to verify that f of x is equal to y f of 0, negative y. Well, what's that going to be? That's 2 times 0, right? m is 0, minus, and then n is negative y. And that's simply y. So therefore, f is on 2. So it's not a hard proof, but it's a careful proof, right? Let's go over it uh, one more time. Let me switch colors. So. To show it's onto, you have to take any y and y, so we did that here. Then you have to show there exists an x and, and capital X. So this is where you go to the side. You say, okay, what do I want? I want x such that f of x is equal to y. So this is your x here, and then here's your y. And so you just write it down, and you work backwards, and you solve for x. So when we got here, 2m minus n equals y, I decided I didn't want this. So I'm just going to make m equals 0, and then that would leave me with negative n equals y. Well, that means n is equal to negative y. Okay, so let's take n equals negative y and m equals 0, and we're good. 